Hey guys, Blue Ridge Snob 1990 back. Um, I tried doing this video on my other laptop, but the, the space was slow, so we cut off. Hopefully, this video it doesn't cut off, it doesn't freeze, and it doesn't go out of sync. I'm not wearing my glasses because I left it in my mom's room, and I'm not going back. So, if you like my glasses, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm not getting up. So, anyway, this is um, part two of my big haul. Um, I don't know which movies I showed you last time because that was filmed months ago. And um, I'm not going to rewatch the video. To see what you watched and what you didn't. So I'm just going to show you everything. And hopefully you don't mind. Um, first off, let's start off with the TV seasons that I didn't show you. And this is the complete first season of Hawaii Five O, Still brand new factory sealed on Blu-ray. And then the complete first season of Stranger Things on Blu-ray with this cool um, VHS um, box set. It's too big to be a VHS, but it was made to look like one. I still haven't opened it. Now on to the DVDs that don't have a lot because I don't like DVDs. The Grave Dancers and Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. If you don't sound enthusiastic, it's because I'm not. Personal reasons, I'm just not. I was earlier when I was doing this video, but now I have to do it again. And then other stuff. Anyway, now on to the Blu-rays. Hunger Games. The best one out of all of them. Catching Fire. And a lot of people agree with me. Mocking J Part 1. And then Malkin J Part 2. So I own all of them. Then, because I'm a completist, and because the first one didn't come with the slipcover, Cloverfield, it's underrated in my opinion. And this one I have not seen, but I had to get it to hang Cloverfield Lane. Another 4K, um, just to let you guys know, I don't own a 4K Blu-ray player or a 4K TV, but I'm just getting the 4Ks because they come with Blu-rays and they look like really nice. If you guys don't know, I'm a slipcover Nazi. I just, I love slipcovers. I'm going to have to rebuy it though because I'll, I'll show you why. It's Joker. A masterpiece of film. It was my favorite movie. Um, was it 2019? Yeah. 2019, my favorite. But I'm gonna have to rebuy it again because that is gum, my friend. And uh, I got to the slipcover and I'm upset. And I took off the sticker. And look at that. Yep, I'm gonna have to rebuy it again. Then the next is a movie, The Right, with Sir Anthony Hopkins. It was a. Yeah, I was gonna say it was okay, but it, it sucked. And then this one, I'm gonna have to. Hopefully.
I'm lucky the slip cover didn't get damaged. It was just the paper. I haven't opened it yet. And that's Morgan. Um, it took me forever to find it with the slip cover. Because I think you could have only found the slip cover at Best Buy. Nobody else was selling it with a slip cover. So I finally found somebody selling it on eBay and I bought it. But as you can see, gum got on it also, but like I said, it's factory sealed, so hopefully it's just the paper. And I'm lucky that the slip cover did not get any. I don't think that it got any. So hopefully when I take the wrapper off, It'll, it'll be fine. But this movie is like an AI movie. Uh, artificial intelligence. Basically, she's a robot. And that's all I'll say. I don't want to spoil it. It's a good movie. I don't want to spoil the ending either. I was really like... What? <laughs> but I mean... If you... I'm not going to spoil it, but if you get twists, you will get it, like, it, it, there's a twist at the end. Then I got Final Destination, Final Destination 2. Final Destination 3 The Final Destination with this particular cover Took me a while because people If it's lenticular Let's charge them an arm and leg But I found it And then Final Destination 5 the one that was redeemable from the last one. And then she's all that. The only problem I had with this movie was Rachel Lee Cook is not ugly. They put her in glasses and overalls and her hair. She still looked pretty. I don't understand. I, <laughs> whatever, I'm just rambling. But um, this is the French um, Canadian version because I don't think American got a slipcover. <sighs> the Evil Dead and then the remake, the best remake ever in my opinion. Better than this one. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset at me for saying that, but that's what I think. Oh, I forgot to show you one more TV show Homeland. I'm never going to see it. I just got it because of the slipcover. And if you've seen my la latest video, the two new Supergirl seasons, I got as well. Um, Daybreakers, I literally have no idea what this is about, got it because the slipcover was cool, and from my understanding there's a still book I saw on eBay, so I'm going to have to buy that. Um, Inglorious Bastards with the protective, um, Sheet or whatever these are called. Um, I don't know what this is about either. I think it's like Nazi stuff. Um, where's the back? But yeah, I I just got it because the slip cover look cool. And then District Nine. Oh, come on. 
I got gum on it or something. It's in a protective sleeve, so hopefully it's just a protective sleeve. I, I used to buy it from the seller that did this. He would put it in protective sleeve, which was amazing. But some movies, I was like, really? That needs one of these? <laughs> So I just use them on ones that I think deserve them. And this one I can't because it's full of them. Thankfully, it's just the wrapper. I'm taking out. And this strip line. Yeah. No gum. Amazing. Have not seen it. And I have come all over the fucking place. Oh, sorry for cursing. I was on the Drew Barrymore kick. I had all her movies, um, but I had to give them away. But I have one, and that's Stephen King's Cat Eyes. Or Cat's Eye. I still have yet to see this movie. I don't know what this movie is about. There's a cat. Drew Barrymore. That's all I know. If you know, leave a comment down below. Whoa. Uh -oh. Then, uh, my favorite movie of 2017... Saoirse Ronan was robbed of the Oscar for Lady Bird. I love this film. She just was amazing in this movie. She embodied Lady Bird. She was just amazing in this movie. She should have got the Oscar. And then Jungle Book 2. Never seen it. This one I have seen and I love it. And that is A Bug's Life. I love, 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 love this movie. And this too has a still book. But, you know, Disney and their still books are so kind of expensive. Especially on eBay. Oh, I have more. Oh. I have them in this crate. I have three more and that's it. Mm. Kick ass. I love this film. I still need to buy Kick Ass too. And then The Woman in Black. I have one with the lenticular cover. It's the French Canadian version. I don't know where I put that one. And then I have. The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen either of these movies because this one I heard it's Slow Burner and I don't like Slow Burners. The only Slow Burner I liked was um, The House of the Devil. That movie was just perfect. I still need to own it. Um, another Slow Burner, but I didn't care for it, was The Innkeepers. Maybe I need to watch it again. But I did not enjoy it. So anyway guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. And um, thank you guys. Thank you to, to those who watched my latest video. I appreciate it. And hopefully you like this video. Sorry if I showed doubles. I mean, not doubles, but... I'm sorry if I showed you the movies that I already showed you in part one. I just, I don't know which ones I showed you and which ones I didn't. So, thank you and have a great day. Bye.